to Memorial United Methodist Church in Thomasville, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, September the 1st. September the 1st. September the 1st, 2021. And we want to thank you for joining us. My name is Rodney, and you got Danny Leonard back here, our senior minister. And we wanted to share with you a couple things that are going on and what something that, that's going on here at our church, but also things in the past, in our history. Big world. <laughs> That it happened on September the first. Kind of gives you a little something to talk about around around the town. Conversation starts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, like today is National Cherry Popover Day. I didn't know I didn't know cherry popovers were popular enough to have their own day, but I guess we can call them turnovers. Turnovers. Yeah, there you go. So I guess you. Um, they, they, I'm excited because I guess you go to a bakery, get them in the bakery or whatever. Yeah, get them but, at the um, deli, at the grocery store. I don't know that I've ever had one. Uh huh. I know, I know. You've lived a bad life, I sheltered. Know. Yeah. You I have been uh, uh, taking, uh, you missed something. I feel left out. So I'm going to go celebrate today. I encourage you guys to celebrate as well. Go get yourself a cherry pop over and uh, enjoy that on this special, special day dedicated to cherry pop overs. But not only that, there are things that have happened on this date in history. And first of all, in 1752, the Liberty Bell, was, um, which had been somewhere else, finally arrived in uh, Philadelphia. Now, now you, you, have, you knew it's all about it. It's broke. Of course. It don't, well, it don't work anymore. As soon as it got there, it was broke. So they tried to reforge it. They took it, melted it down. They brought it back. They rang it again. It broke again. 1830, it broke again. So it's just sitting there. Then a few years later, they tried to mend it somehow. Uh -huh. They said it ain't going to work. So it's just sitting there. But it's big. I had no idea that it went through that many. I just thought it cracked I when they tried it. to ring it or whatever. Yeah, it's, yeah. I guess it's so big that it created a crack in it. Yeah, I the, guess. The metal or whatever. Know. I don't know. But anyway. But everybody likes to go see it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've been there. I've, I've seen it. It's, it's really, it's huge. It's really, really yeah. big. Like bigger than I thought it was going to be. So anyway, the Liberty Bell. Although it's cracked and it doesn't ring anymore, it's still important. It made its way to Philadelphia, its final resting place, in 1752 on this date. So, uh, anyway, celebrate that today. And then, um, in uh, th this strike, this next piece of history strikes close to both of our our lives, our hearts. In 1872, a lady named Linda Ann Judson Richards mm -hmm. graduated from a school called the Training School of the New England Hospital for Women and Children. And her she she graduated from there as the first professional nurse. And so um, That's right. Dan, Danny's got a daughter and I have a wife that are in the nursing profession. And, and so, all of us are indebted. Yes, yeah. All, this, all these people that take care of us when we're sick and we don't feel good. Um, we, we owe them a huge debt of gratitude. And so um, it all started with Linda Richards. Well, it's like you said, she was the first professional trained. That's woman. right. That's but they right. had to be, I mean, it had to be somebody taking care of sick people and, yeah. and, and making sure things went right and looking after doctors. I mean, that's, right. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 that's how it started. That you know? is absolutely right. So, but, um, so I guess that Linda Richards was the first professional. She that's was the right. first one that got trained at this at, you, at you reckon school. she's the first one that had the hat? I don't I mean, think they wear the hats anymore. No, they don't. Martha Joe says they don't. I see sometimes I when people graduate, they still have them. That's good. But, um, I mean, they don't keep the sun out of your eyes or anything. No, I don't, I'm not sure what the purpose of those I were. Oh, no, I they, respect nurses. They can wear whatever they want. Yeah, to. absolutely, absolutely. So, anyway, we celebrate this date that um, pe people started becoming professional nurses. Started recognizing them. Yeah, started recognizing that. That's right. So, and then you found this out. I thought this was crazy. I did, had no idea. So, in 1898, um, the very first forestry school started in America at the Biltmore Estate in Asheville, North Carolina. I had no idea. I didn't either. I didn't know there was a forestry school at at Biltmore. They I thought of, it was just a big house. There's a lot of trees up yeah. there. <laughs> well, they, so, I mean, they're going to take care of what's going on. It's there. an amazing story. Wasn't it Vanderbilt? Wasn't that all his yes, stuff? Yes, I and think. They built train lines going in there. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Unbelievable stuff. But they had a forestry school. The first one in America started at the Biltmore State in Asheville. I had no idea. But, yeah, so that's, uh, yeah, that's a 
huge. Yeah. Anyway, that first one in America. That's I crazy. I wonder if that's so, now the home of Smokey the Bear. I, I don't know. That's <laughs> funny. That's funny. I don't know. Maybe. It might be. Maybe. It maybe sense, maybe Smokey lives there. Maybe we. I have. I have never been to the Biltmore. Have you not? You I've need to go. I know. I know. Everybody. It's an awesome that. place. I mean. Yeah. So it's, anyway, it's awesome. I'll have to go check out the forestry school too. So. Yeah. Anyway, maybe we could do that today. A, a celebration. It's rainy. Yeah, it is. It is rainy. It's, a little, it's kind of not great outside, but. Anyway, so other things that have happened in September the 1st, a couple of weeks ago we were talking about the beginning of World War I, yeah. but today is the beginning of World War II. And so on this date, in, in 1939, Germany invaded Poland. And then a couple of days later, England and France declared war on Germany for, for what they did to Poland. So. Um, so today is a big day in history, like as far as it didn't as, work out too well for Adolf Hitler, did it? It, it didn't. He had he had some high expectations, but it, it didn't yeah. it didn't work out. Fortunately for all of us that it, that did not work out. So anyway, so nineteen thirty nine on this date, World War Two began, um, at, when Germany um, invaded Poland. So and then then th you found this is nineteen sixty eight in Venice. Florida, mm -hmm. a man named Irvin Feld, who had been working for the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus, sure. opened the very first clown college. Clown college. So, That's right. Yeah, no that, kidding. No joking around. It's a college <laughs> for clowns. Esteemed, so they, respected. Uh, they taught people how to pack as many people into a Volkswagen bug yeah, as they yeah, could, yeah. stuff like that. You know, um, in 68, it didn't start till 68, this clown college. Um, and I was wondering when I read that, where did congressmen get their education oh my gosh. before that? I mean, they had something. I, don't know. I mean, I know. Yeah. So anyway, Clown College is real, real deal. It's gone now. Um, oh. But that's where people would go, and they'd be trained, and then the top of the class would be selected to become clowns for Ringling Brothers. To travel, travel with them. Yeah, the not people. everybody that went there was selected. I mean, only the top, you know, the top yeah. percentage of clowns. I had I no mean, idea. There's even competition among clowns. Uh, I'm not kidding around with you on that. It's serious business. Um, so anyway, that was 68. It's gone now. So yeah. is Ringling Brothers Barn Bailey Circus. But Clown College started Clown on College, this date. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> well, something else that happened on this date in 1985, which doesn't seem like that long ago, but uh, 30, I don't know, it was a long time ago. <laughs> um, but recently, anyway, recent history, um, the, there was a man named Robert D. Ballard who um, this, who had been looking for the wreckage of the Titanic, found it on this date. And um, it was like 73 years after the, the Titanic had sunk on its maiden it's voyage. It's not supposed to sink. The unsinkable, the unsinkable ship <laughs> that sunk on its very first time out um, sank. And uh, this, this guy, 73 years later, Robert Ballard, found it and it was like two and a half miles deep in the ocean. I mean I I don't know. I guess he took like I think I read that he he had these unmanned submarines that would just kind of cruise along the bottom of the ocean and like you know, they finally found stuff that was belonged to the two and a half miles. It's yeah. hard to fathom that the ocean is that deep. I mean, just think about that. Oh Two and a half miles. <laughs> Two and a half miles. Use yeah. the vocabulary That's word there. De yeah, definitely hard to fathom. Yeah. When I was a junior in high school studying for the <laughs> SAT, um, it's a measurement of depth in the ocean. Yeah. Right? That's, I don't know it's getting it deep is. in here right it now. Is, yeah. so. <laughs> it sounds good. So he found that thing in 85. Yeah. It'd been yeah. laying down there 73 years. And, and they said it was surprisingly well preserved. I guess the, 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 the depth of that. That crash well, it wasn't like was, a lot of swimmers or skiers or anything no, it was disturbing no, just, it. It's, that's true. Just the people. I mean, they just, found plates. I mean, yeah. everything. Silverware just yeah, laid They brought down. a bunch of stuff up. So um, anyway, so that day, yeah. that happened. That It's really it's Celine Dion, that. they found her, didn't they? No, they did not. That's, oh, I thought she was singing it. There. <laughs> so anyway, but we do have birthdays. Speaking of singers, we do have birthdays. 
And in 1933, today is the birthday of Conway Twitty. Hello, darling. Nice to see you. It's been a long time. I love Conway Twitty. He's got that he's, voice, man. Yeah, he's yeah. a lady killer. You he, know that. He's got that hairdo, yeah, too, man. Yeah, he's a lady killer. He so, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. But he's gone. He's not with us anymore. Yeah, I think he died back in 1993, but uh, he was a country western singer. He was. And just, uh, pretty hair. Pretty hair. Golden voice. Man, oh, he had it all yeah. going for him there for a little while. So, anyway, we celebrate. Happy, happy birthday to Conway Twitty. And then another birthday, um, turning 71 today, if I did my math right, um, Dr. Phil McGraw, yeah. known, known for his, his talk show, but he's a psychologist, he's an author, and and uh, just uh, kind of, just real, like I said, real, just common sense stuff. Like but he, very demonstrative. He, he, yeah, 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 yeah. You've got to yeah. let him go. You've <laughs> got to let him go. <laughs> Phil McGraw, man. Is, Not quick draw. No, not quick draw McGraw. This is Phil, Dr. Phil. So, not uh, big draws McGraw. <laughs> so, anyway, happy birthday, Phil. We, we, th we, we thank you for all that you do for us and all the entertainment that you give us and everything. Then, now the stuff that you probably really care about with our church. Um, so, we have things going on here, things cranking up and getting into fall stuff. We, uh, our Art Academy has opened up fall registration for classes for kids, youth, and adults. They have painting classes, they have drawing classes, they have music classes, they have, they have all kinds individual of stuff. Individual lessons. There's people, yeah, you can take it individually, you can take it with a group. Um, classes will begin this for the fall session on Tuesday, September the 7th. Um, so you got from now until then to sign up. You may, they may be able to let you in later, but you need to get in before it's the seventh of September. You need to contact Melanie Barley, and we'll put her um, we'll put her email address along the bottom of the screen there, so that you can um, talk to her and everything. And um, they're coming off the largest student enrollment summer that they've yeah, experienced. This, yeah, and she's been doing that for years. Melanie's been doing it for years, and so that's a big deal for her to say that that, that that's her biggest enrollment so anyway we're excited about that and then we also have mugs mugs, mugs. are back so um coffee I've been, mugs coffee mugs hand-thrown pottery coffee mugs with a special glaze that's been put on them i missed mine the first time around i i, I regret that they went out of here fast they, they were gone they were i mean just, people bought it was them like up. the amazon sale of the week or something yeah yeah, yeah. so we <laughs> lightning sale so we uh we're they've made another batch of them. All the proceeds go to to uh, to help um, the the committee. The, the committee is empty bowls, and they help help with hunger in the, in our community. And they're trying to raise money because we weren't able to do empty bowls the last two years. And so um, we want to. They they're selling these mugs, and so um, they will begin on Sunday, September the twelfth. That's a Sunday morning, September the twelfth. They will be here all morning through the worship services, through R.L. Pope Sunday School class, and they will be set up in our Christian Christian Enrichment Center. That's the building in the back, um, right outside of the R.L. Pope Sunday School class. So um, come by. They have a they'll have a table set up. Yeah. You can buy those. I'm not sure of the prices right now. I, um, I didn't hear about that, but they will be selling them. And so I'm going to go get mine. I know that. So I hope you will yep. go get yours as well. They're very nice. Yeah. Amber Xander. And yeah. Sandy, Sandy McGee, Sandy McGee have been. are the artists and yeah. potters yeah. Uh, that have glazed yeah. them, and they put individual attention into each one of them. Yeah, yeah. I we think Mission Pottery them. threw them. I think there's a yeah. company called Mission Pottery. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we thank them for all that they're doing for us. And then finally, last last announcement I want to share with you today. Um, coming up, Sunday, September the 19th, Peggy Finch's retirement reception. So That's right. um, she she was here for many many years. She she was retired. We wasn't able to send her off in the proper right. way. So um, due to COVID, so we want to do that. And so after the the eleven o'clock worship service, Peggy will um, will be here and um, have and a big tent set a up tent in the front yard right of the church, the, right on the front lawn. And so and we're gonna have refreshments. Yeah. So please come and. And um, celebrate with her, and uh, that again, that'll be Sunday, September the nineteenth. So with three lot, Sundays from now, a lot of yeah, a lot of cool things happening. So make sure you put all that on your calendars. I hope you continue. Oh, and um, so we we know that y'all are enjoying. We we see the the 
the metrics or whatever for the people watching. So we know there's a lot online of people. Online worship. Yeah, yeah, for our online worship services and Sunday school. And so we thank you for joining us virtually. But we like to see you in person every once in a while. So um, when you feel safe, when you feel like you're able to do that, we would love to see you in person here at our church. Um, we thank you for joining us however you, you choose to do so. Um, but uh, it's always good to see you in person. So that hope, hopefully you'll be here this Sunday. We hope to see you soon. Keep taking care of yourself. Take care of one another. And we'll see you.